Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to this tutorial series on the basics of Unity. In this video, we want to talk about the audio source game object. So let's get started. So here we have our tutorial project open inside of Unity. And the first thing that we want to do before we talk about the audio source game object is talk about the audio listener component. Now within Unity, every time you create a new camera game object, that camera game object will come with an audio listener component attached to it. So here within the hierarchy, if I select our main camera game object, you can see within the inspector down at the bottom that it has the audio listener component attached to it. Now the audio listener component will capture any sound effects playing within the environment of our game and then output that audio through the speakers of the device that it's being played on. Another cool thing about the audio listener component is that it will capture the sound effects based on its position within 3D space. So if the audio listener is capturing some sound that's really far away, it will sound like that sound effect is really far away. The same thing applies to which direction the sound effect is coming from. So if you have a sound effect that's playing on the right side of your audio listener, then you're going to hear that sound effect more in your right ear than in your left ear. Now because this audio listener component is attached to our main camera and our main camera was created when our scene was created, I want to show you that every camera you create within Unity will come with an audio listener component. So I'm going to go to the game object drop down menu, then select camera. And with this new camera selected, you can see within the inspector that this as well has an audio listener component. Now, not every camera has to have an audio listener component. If you want to remove the audio listener component, all you have to do is click on this gear icon and then select remove component. Now for the rest of this video, we only want to have one camera within our scene. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the camera that we just created. Now it's important to remember that as we create audio source game objects, in order for those audio source game objects to have output to the player, you need to have an audio listener somewhere within your scene. Now we're going to talk more about the audio listener component in a future video, but for now let's move on to the audio source game object. So to create an audio source game object, we can go to the game object drop down menu, then go to audio and select audio source. Here we can see that we now have a new game object called audio source within our hierarchy. Now an audio source game object is a game object that you can assign an audio file to, and then that audio source game object will play that audio file within the environment of your game. So you can think of it as an audio source creates a sound effect, and then the audio listener hears that sound effect. Another example of this is me snapping my finger. When I snap my finger, my middle finger hits the palm of my hand, creating a sound effect. So that's like the audio source. Then that sound effect travels through the air and is captured by my microphone. So the microphone is like the audio listener, but it doesn't stop there because then that same audio is outputted through your speakers as you're watching this video. So now that we've briefly explained what an audio source game object is, let's look at it in the inspector. So within the inspector, we can see that the only difference between this game object and an empty game object is this component here, which is called the audio source component. So if we wanted to recreate an audio source game object, all we'd have to do is go to our create dropdown menu, select create empty, and then go to add component and type in audio and select audio source right here. Now I'm going to rename both these game objects. The first one is going to be sound one and the second is going to be sound two. Now within the inspector, you can see that the audio source component has a lot of settings and we're not going to cover all of these settings in this video, but we will cover them in a future video when we talk about the audio source as a component. Now the first setting that we do want to talk about is the audio clip build, which is located at the top. This is where we can assign an audio file and then our audio source game object will play that audio file within the environment of our game. So here within the project window, you can see that I've created a new folder called audio and I've saved two different audio tracks. The first audio file is our button click sound effect that we created in our tic-tac-toe tutorial series. The second audio file is a royalty free song that I pulled off the internet. Now I'm going to go ahead and assign these files to our two different audio source game objects. So I'm going to select sound one and drag in our button click audio file to the audio clip field. I'm then going to select sound two and drag our royalty free song to our audio clip field. Now, when we were talking about the audio listener component on the main camera, we were talking about how it captures audio relative to its position in 3D space. So here within our scene view, you can see that we have our main camera game object located right here. And then we have these two game objects with a little 
speaker gizmo. These are our two audio source game objects. Now because audio source game objects have transforms, just like all the other game objects within Unity, we can move each audio source to any position we want within 3D space. And wherever the transform of this game object is located, that will be the point in which the audio source will originate from. And with that in mind, you should now have a better understanding of audio being played and captured relative to the position of the audio source game object and the audio listener. Now the next setting that we want to talk about in the inspector for the audio source component is play on awake. Now when you create an audio source game object, play on awake will be active. This means that when you hit the play button of Unity, that audio file will play as soon as your game starts running. So to show you this, I'm going to have our sound one game object set to play on awake, and then I'm going to set our sound two to not play on awake. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my headphones on and hit play. So there you go, that first little click sound was our button click sound effect, and it played as soon as our game started running. Now I'm going to switch so that our sound 2 will play on awake and our sound 1 will not. And there we go, we now have the sound or music playing on awake. Now a bunch of these settings are pretty straightforward, like muting the audio, looping the audio, and volume, but the next setting that we want to talk about is spatial blend. Now currently, Spatial Blend is set to 2D, which means that all of my talk of sound being relative to its position does not apply. And so if we want to have sound relative to its position, then we want to change the slider to 100% 3D. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And once the music starts playing in my headphones, I'm going to move the audio source game object farther away from our audio listener. And as I do so, you can hear how the volume of our audio source game object lowers. And it's only in my right ear because it's on the right side of our audio listener. And if I move it super far away, then it gets really, really quiet. You can't even hear it. Now I'm going to move it to the left side of our audio listener. And as I do so, you can now hear how it switches from the right side of my headphones to the left. Now, if you're not listening to this video with headphones on, this might be hard for you to tell but it's pretty clear for me. Now if I move it closer, you can hear how the volume gets louder. So that's pretty cool. That is the audio source game object within 3D space. Now from Unity and the inspector, the only way to play audio from an audio source is to set it to play on awake. In the future, when we talk about coding with the audio source component, we'll show you how to play an audio track on cue. Now that's everything that we're going to cover in this video on the audio source game object. I hope you're able to follow along and that everything made sense. If you have any questions, make sure that you leave them in the comments below. Also make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified when we publish new videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.